We are following the aftermath of last night's monsoonal storm that left thousands of people in the eastern Coachella Valley without power. Last night we reported 50 power poles went down in thermal. New Channel 3's Bianca Ventura has a closer look at the impact and how it motivated some residents to be better prepared for Hurricane Hillary. We didn't have power like all night. It was like it was getting hot, but luckily it came back and we got we got the power. Almost 4,000 people in the eastern Coachella Valley, including Brian Cisneros, were left without power Friday night after a monsoonal storm. Based off of what you saw yesterday, how are you feeling about the upcoming storm? Uh, a little worry. <laughs> yeah, a little worry that it's going to be a lot harder, you know? So it's like we're trying to get like sandbags so we can put around our garage. Sandra Andrade owns First Step Preschool in Coachella off Avenue 50. It also lost power and may require a new fence from some of the damages. Like the whole gate collapsed. So part of the gate where it's like where the kids play, it just like fell off. And we're hoping that it's not going to affect the other side, but it probably will. Although the down power lines behind me were caused by a monsoonal storm on Friday, Hurricane Hillary could cause even more dangerous scenes like this one with potential power outages, road closures and flooding. That 50 pole power outage prompting some East Valley residents to better prepare for Hurricane Hillary by filling sandbags and running to the store for essentials like water and food. We're, we're kind of prepared for like the worst case scenario, you know. Coachella Valley Unified School District, along with Riverside County, opened Desert Mirage High School as a temporary shelter because of the outages. If there is any kind of information that you might be in danger, they should be coming out to the shelters. The shelters are located in areas where there's going to be minimal impact and also um, an area where they can be safe. Officials with CVUSD saying in a statement that the shelters include dedicated reception, essential care like a place to shower, and a cooling zone. If your local government or emergency services is telling you to evacuate, please evacuate. Don't take that chance. Your family, loved ones are more important. The shelter is expected to remain open until Monday or Tuesday based on the community's needs. In Thermal, Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3. CBUSD officials say they will send out updated information as needed. Supervisor Manuel Perez also shared a statement saying in part in, in unincorporated communities that have been affected by strong rains in the past, especially in the eastern Coachella Valley. We are ensuring that our community partners such as Galilee Center, Coachella Valley Rescue Mission, North Shore Yacht Club, Mecca Resource Center and Martha's Village are ready should they need to be activated.